Good morning, friends. Good morning. <laughs> it is day 10 of our vacation here in Europe, and today we are in Kirkwall, which is an island. Or Orkney's island. Orkney's the island, Kirkwall's the town, or the city. We're going to go out and explore Kirkwall today. I think Evan found a castle. Yeah, it's in the city. We'll see what it looks like. Don't so, know what it looks like yet. So we might go see a castle. We're going to try to hit up the distillery that's here in town. But it's going to be a very short day because we have to be back on the boat by 1 p.m. It's 9 a.m. now. So I just have to say I have really, really enjoyed Scotland. It is amazing the people are so friendly like yesterday we met a little old lady who was waiting for the same bus that we were waiting for who has lived in scotland her whole life and she was just really friendly and we talked to her about her way of living and just found out more about scotland that way and then evan made some friends on the bus yep two fellas they were talking about their girlfriends in the u.s <laughs> I have to say, I've seen too many episodes of Catfish, and I think that that poor gentleman is being catfished, but I didn't say anything, but I was just thinking, hmm, okay, because they wasn't the best of looking of gentlemen, but... Girl, girls like Scottish guys, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's a thing, but it just sounded like too good to be true kind of a thing. Anyways, we met them, they were very friendly, and they were telling us some pretty tragic stories about some of their, uh, their mates, their friends. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, Drowning. yeah, he said the other day, it was pretty recently, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, one of his buddies went walking on the shoreline and it was during high tide and he got swept into the ocean and the only thing they could find were his trainers, which are his shoes. So that was an uh, interesting story. And then he said another buddy, or mate, they call them mates, another mate of his was had jumped off of a bridge the canal. into the canal and then they found his body like way farther down the canal. So that was an interesting conversation with a local, just telling us about the tragedies of his friends. So I'm like, oh, okay. And they happen to be pretty fresh and recent because oh. he was willing to share anything and everything with us. So, but yeah, today we're gonna go exploring Kirkwall. This is Evan's outfit. He looks nice and warm. Mm -hmm. I haven't quite put my warm stuff on yet. So we're gonna layer it up. <laughs> you look so warm. very crowy. What did you order? It's a dry gin. Mm. Was that gin fudge, Dwight? Yeah, it was. Gin fudge. Is it good? And hot chocolate. Yeah. Yep, and hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Very yummy. Oh, yeah. They'd be running around. <laughs> Do you get 
a video of me getting lovin's from you. Yeah. I'm getting lovin's from you. You're so sweet. Sweetie. Yes, you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So sweet. Are these yours? Are these the food on Facebook? Are they? I don't know. They're not ours. <laughs> They're just letting me love on them. Yeah. Oh, you're coming back to me. Yes, you are. You're gonna have to look up Kirkwall. Kirkwall border collars. Yeah. I wonder what their names are. I don't see a name there. Yeah, they're just sitting here. Two of them are off leash. This little baby that's letting me pet him is on leash. But the other two are just sitting there off leash. <laughs> Here, baby. Oh, don't do that. This isn't a come get it game. The game's gonna stop if you don't bring it. Oh, buddy. Okay. All right. Now I'm just gonna wait for my master. Yeah. Bye, baby. Bye. Bye, bye. Then we made it back from Kirkwall, and it was such a cute little town. We learned so much, and I love how each city so far that we've gone to have people there that like are volunteers that just want to tell you about their town and they want you know your experience to be nice in their town but we were walking through the shopping area and this car was coming down the street and it was banging and they're just making a ruckus and one of the volunteers that live there was explaining to us that that is a ritual that they do before they were to get married like a pre-wedding ceremony where the girls separate it's kind of like the bachelorette and bachelor parties that we do in america yeah. but for the girls what they do is and i'll probably show a clip here they get in the back of this truck and they're covered in molasses and flour and they just look like they're having the best time and then the volunteer lady said that for the men they strip down the groom to the point where he's naked and they tie him to a tree and throw molasses at him and stuff like that. So I'm kind of glad that we have the traditions that we have because <laughs> I wouldn't want to be covered in molasses and flour. And I don't think Evan would particularly like to be naked tied to a tree. Would you, babe? Uh, there's always a time and place for that. Okay, well, it was really cool to experience that and see just kind of a little bit about how they live here. And it's just great. So everybody is so friendly and we just had a overall great experience here in Kirkwall. I also wanted to mention my absolute favorite part of Kirkwall was seeing the three border collies that were outside of the church. And apparently they are Facebook famous. So I'm gonna have to look um, on Instagram and Facebook to see if I can actually find their accounts. But we got to interact with them and pet them. And two of them were actually off leash and one of uh -huh. them was on leash. So I bet the other one that was on leash is probably young, yeah. younger. Yeah. Uh, cause, like yeah, in this adolescent phase. Cause he kept bringing the ball. He wanted to, to play fetch. But that was like one of my favorite interactions or my favorite experiences in Kirkwall was getting to pet on the border collies because I miss my dogs and my dogs kind of look like a border collie. They're Australian Shepherds. So I got my dog fixed because we've been seeing dogs everywhere and we haven't been able to like interact with them or pet them. And today I finally got to. And so that was literally the highlight of <laughs> Kirkwall for me was getting to interact with those border collies because they were sweet. So yeah, but we are very cold, uh, but now we're going to go get some lunch because it's lunchtime. You want to show the whiskey glass? Here? Oh yes, Evan bought a bottle of whiskey mm. that we had to check came in because we can't actually take it to yeah. can't our, room. our own whiskey. Can't bring in your own alcohol, but they'll bring it to us on the last day. But here is the glass that Evan got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it you kind of see the Highland Park. Yeah. It's pretty hefty. Is it hefty? Oh, that is hefty. It was mm -hmm. heavier than I expected. Yeah. And it was really cheap. It was only how much? Four dollars. Or four pounds. Four pounds. For a glass, which is great, you know. In America, for you had ten, fifteen dollars for First something like that. Glass. First souvenir glass. First yeah. glass, yeah. But yeah, so now we're gonna go to Ocean Hands to get some some lunch. Whoa. You got a little too much power there, go a little softer. There you go. Oh my god, on it! Yeah you did. <laughs> go for it, Dwight, you got it. There you go, Dwight. That's the points. Oh, 
good job. Good job, you did it. It's weighing up here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. Good job, babe. All right, so we're about to go get some, some dinner. We just got done playing cornhole or bean bag toss is what they call it here. And we were rocking it. We were kicking ass. Good. For, the, the for the first two rounds, we were both like up uh, with everyone else. And then one lady for her third round sunk all four bean bags. And the last round. And the last round. So then she, of course, whipped past us. But we were the winners for the first couple rounds. And we thought we had it in the bag, but evidently not. But anyways, we, we haven't got in third. Yeah, you got third place, I got fourth. But that was a lot of fun. So we're out at sea right now. We're headed to Ireland and it is very rocky and rough just seas, huh? rough. It's really hard to actually, get. like you can see the camera moving as we're uh, rocking the waves. But anyways, we're about to go get some dinner and I was gonna show off what we're wearing to dinner. And so for dinner, wearing a black dress, Evan's wearing a gray jacket with floral. black pants and floral. <laughs> Very good. So we're gonna go get his parents and then go get some dinner. And then for the show tonight, oh my god. More gosh. singing. There's someone a, new. Someone new. So it's an older lady and she's singing um, the greats of the Brits. Mm -hmm. Hits of the Brits is what it's called. Um, Which will be interesting. Yeah. I'm to see how she sings the Beatles. Yeah. So that's what the plan is. And then at nine o'clock there's trivia, which hopefully we're- Speed trivia. Speed trivia. So, mm -hmm. so hopefully we're you know, with it and want to play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got the energy. Cause... Can't, can't be like, like I like Ryan Styles, but, <laughs> but not. Harry Styles. Right. <laughs> but not Harry Styles. Exactly, you can't do that. <laughs> I'll try not to tonight, but yeah. anyway, so hopefully we're um, up for that after. Ooh, the show, oh my gosh. The rocking, I can't even explain like how hard it is to just stand still. So luckily there's no dancers tonight because I can't imagine them doing flips and stuff like they were a couple nights ago on these seas. That's probably why they did. And maybe they knew it was gonna be bad. Mm -hmm. Like the sea wise, it's gonna be rocky. So, okay, well, good planning on their part. But anyway, so we're gonna go get some dinner. All right, so we're back in the room. Uh, we went to dinner and it was very interesting eating food while the boat was like, Rocking. Rocking really hard. But yes, yeah, so we had dinner and then we went to the show and uh, it was entertaining. Uh, I liked her banter. She had a lot of good banter with the audience and the band members and stuff. It was just a singer lady and she actually got an encore. She was the first yeah. <laughs> show that we've seen. The cr cruise host. He didn't know what to do. Yeah. He was just like, everyone was like saying, what? This more? is supposed what to be more? over. <laughs> I know. And the cruise director guy was like, I don't know. As soon as it's over, they're like, cut this. Yeah, yeah. And they hadn't even practiced another song, so mm -hmm. they weren't prepared. So she just kind of came out and did another one, kind of spur of the moment. We saw the show, and then we went to um, something called Speed, Speed Trivia, trivia. Um, where you had to push a button. Like, one person could play at a time, which just kind of mm -hmm. sucks. Yeah, I like that. I wish that uh, it was groups, like how normal trivia at like a bar would be. You're in a group and you hold up your answers and- The questions were pretty simple. Yeah, some of them were like, how many sides does a triangle have? So that was fun and we just got back to the room. We're pretty drained. I mean, I'm drained. As you could tell, I'm not feeling very well. But we're gonna keep trucking along. Tomorrow's day 11 and we get to sleep in tomorrow because we don't dock until 12.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a morning of just relaxing, which will be nice. We don't have to just jump off the boat at like 7 a.m. So, but yeah, so we're gonna call our doggies and say good night. Good night to the doggies. Mm. Just a baby. It's just a baby. Mm -hmm.